Hillary Clinton is coming under fire from conservatives for one line in the debate in which she said when it comes to ISIS, the U.S. is, quote, where we need to be. After the debate, Clinton said the comment taken in context refers to the new U.N. Security Council resolution that calls for pursuing a political transition in Syria to end that country's complex and very violent civil war. Joining us to talk about this and many other issues is Senator Amy Klobuchar. Thank you so much well, for coming thank in. Thank you, Esme. It's great to be on. All right. Well, let me ask you about this. Is the U.S., quote, where we need to be when it comes to ISIS? Well, I think what she was referring to there, um, I think it's stated fact that she wanted to be more aggressive about Syria early on uh, and was pushing the administration. So I think all she's saying here is at least more is happening right now. Uh, we have joined and been much more aggressive internationally in terms of the airstrikes. Uh, the UN is finally, as she pointed out in the clarifying remarks, is finally, um, you know, passing resolutions and doing things to try to take on ISIS and there's just been a sea change in terms of the aggressiveness of Europe as well given what happened in Paris. Um, I years ago called for a no-fly zone or humanitarian zone after visiting the Jordanian refugee camps um, and I agree with her that we should be doing more and I think when she said we're where we should be she meant the U.S. is in a posture of being more aggressive and the world is in a posture of being more aggressive. All right we want to ask you about some domestic legislation that you're pushing. You're going to have a news conference tomorrow to talk about three measures that you're introducing to help with prescription drug costs. This is out of control for a lot of people. People are facing higher deductibles. What are these measures and does more need to be done? Well, more needs to be done. If people have noticed this, it's not just them. A 13, 12, 13 percent increase between 2013 and 2014 for the prices of drugs. Our average drugs cost twice as much as those in Canada. So Senator John McCain and I have introduced a bill to allow for the reimportation of drugs from Canada so we can start buying some of those cheaper drugs. Secondly, I've introduced a bill with Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, so these are not just Democratic sponsors on these bills, uh, that says that big pharmaceutical companies have to stop paying their competition to keep products off the market. That is happening now. It's called pay for delay. They pay generic companies to keep the products off the market. And third, of course, negotiation under Medicare Part D, something I've been advocating for for years. I feel like I've been crying wolf all this time, just keep telling people that this is a major problem. No one's listening. Finally, people are starting to listen. We have major Republicans and co-sponsors on these bills. Well, and obviously the second one you talked about, paying to keep generics off the market. Uh, there was an arrest this week of a man who uh, you have written about, uh, his company, and it was not related to that, but his company raised the price on very rare drugs an enormous amount. Mm -hmm. Should that be allowed? Uh, no, it shouldn't be, and so that's another thing that we can look at is how we can stop those major increases. He went literally took a drug that was $13 and brought it up to $750 and then was had the audacity to boast about it. Right. He's now been arrested for fraud from past activity, but it just shows you the kinds of things that we're seeing because the laws don't contain any of this. These are products that the public depends on, and we just simply can't allow people to be keeping ripped off. We're going to be there tomorrow with young people who depend on a drug uh, for their leukemia and lymphoma uh, that has basically is twice the price it is in other developed countries. Why should this be happening in America? That's what I'm going to be asking and giving some ideas about how to fix it. All right. The Minnesota delegation as a whole, working together for years, yes. has been pushing for the repeal of the medical device tax. Mm -hmm. It actually happened this past week, at it least did. for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that and what do you think the impact's going to be? Uh, well, 25 percent, according to our, our Minnesota medical device companies, 25% of that tax uh, has been charged against Minnesota companies. That is a lot of money. And so I think it's going to be really helpful for research and development for jobs in our state. And that tax was kind of thrown in at the last minute. It wasn't really negotiated as to what the appropriate amount should be. It's a tax on manufacturing. So we've had bipartisan support for changing it, not just from Minnesota. Uh, even Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts advocated for changing it. So uh, we are very glad this passed. I led the bill in the Senate with Senator Orrin Hatch. Senator Franken was obviously supportive of this. And then uh, Eric Paulson has been leading it in the House, and we've all been working together. All right, just very quickly, an enormous summit on the Iron Range. You've helped organize it with the White House Chief of Staff. The governor uh, is going to be there, uh, legislative leaders. 
What are you hoping to accomplish here? Well, we want the man who sees the president every single day and has his Dennis trust. Dennis McDonough, who's from Dennis McDonough, to, from Minnesota, has ten brothers and sisters, most of them in our state, and we want him to come up to the Iron Range and see firsthand the heartbreak, see firsthand that nearly two thousand workers have been laid off because of illegal dumping of steel from China. Uh, they are overproducing steel. The economy's down there some, and then they are sending it to our shores with their are not supposed to do under the law and nearly every single time we bring a legal case we win but the problem is it takes too long and so we're asking for some immediate remedies from Dennis McDonough and I'm just so glad he's going to go up there and see firsthand so he can report back to the president all right and that is on Tuesday well Senator Klobuchar always a pleasure thank you thank so much you for coming in. very good